Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm actually super excited because I'm gonna be sharing with you my secrets on how to glow up for high school. And I'm gonna include examples in here because otherwise it just doesn't really make sense if I'm just like, here, do this, and you're like, so, number one, what you guys can do is match your colors. So, for example, this shirt is blue. I'm not necessarily gonna match something blue, but I want to emphasize this extra color right here. So, I just add a scrunchie for a pop of color, or if you don't have the same matching color scrunchie, then what you can do is you can wear red socks on your feet, or you can match the necklace. Like, if you see in my video, I have a purple accent color inside of the necklace, and it matches my shirt. And if all else fails, you can use a pop of eyeshadow color to match your outfit. This is probably my number one hack and I'm sharing it with you first because I love you guys and I want everybody to have this hack. All right, number two. I think that an outfit with a small necklace adds so much. Like without it, I mean I look fine, but do you see how much just that little bit adds? Like I think it's amazing. Anyways, I'll put that on in a second. <laughs> and then I always wear this ring on my middle finger and I wear this ring on my ring finger. Try to match metallic tones to each other so you're not just like wearing like gold, rose gold, bronze, copper, you know what I mean? So I thought I'd throw it in here because I am going to be making a video in the future about this. I just have to order the henna. But henna freckles, guys, are a thing. I think they are so stinking cool. So. I have tan olive skin and I really don't get freckles and I hate that because freckles are so stinking cute and I don't know about you guys but I do not have the time in the morning to be drawing freckles onto my face every single morning. What my friends and I did the other day when I was meeting up with my college friends was we did like henna on our face and it's so cute and we should have left it on longer and then you would be able to see them more but anyways I think it's so stinking fun and you glowed up over the summer so I'm definitely going to be creating a video so make sure you guys subscribe if you want to be notified of that video. And my fourth tip has to do with why my freckles are slightly leaving now. My fourth tip is to use a toothbrush to exfoliate your face. Make sure you use a soft bristle brush or you could just get a face brush off of Amazon for like $5. So first of all, I get my face wet and then I grab my toothbrush and I just put, that sounds so funny. I grab my toothbrush and I put on my cleanser. It doesn't have to be Cetaphil, but Cetaphil is the cleanser that I use. And then I just begin brushing in circular movements. Make sure you're very gentle with your brush strokes and that you're not like, hurting your skin. And guys, if you ever deal with like red skin and you wanna get rid of like the red tint in your skin but you're not wearing any makeup or blah, 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 this product works amazing. I got it in one of my monthly Birchbox subscriptions and literally it gets rid of all of my redness in literally seconds. I love this product so much. It works so stinking well. The first time that I did it, when I put my moisturizer on after, I was like, my skin is so soft. Like, I don't know if you can tell this right now on camera, but I don't have any foundation on. So I've actually stopped wearing foundation. And my next tip is going to show you how I found confidence about wearing no foundation. Go on Amazon <laughs> and buy this essential oil called Wild Orange. Guys, it honestly changed my life. So I was so skeptical. I'd heard people say that when they wore this essential oil on your face, which by the way, it's like a vitamin C serum, but it's like actually 100% organic and pure because it has like no preservatives in it because it's just the oil. It's literally orange oil. So the fact that that is just so cool. So what I do is I add it into my moisturizer and every morning I just put my moisturizer in my hand, put the drops in, and then I just like mix it together with my finger and apply it to my face. Guys, not only do you smell amazing, but your skin starts becoming like the same color all around if that makes sense I don't know what it'll do for you guys But for me, I felt like it made me look tanner because I'm constantly putting vitamin C vitamin C giving nutrition to my skin And I literally love it So um, and then I actually ran out like two months ago And I saw a difference in my skin when I didn't wear it compared to what I do another benefit of that I'm just gonna add this in there. Um, so like I'm not very confident in wearing a highlighter Like I don't know necessarily how to apply it very well and so when you wear that oil, it actually highlights everything naturally and it's so stinking cool. I didn't say this in the beginning of the video, I probably should have, but now I'm just going to use it as number six. I think that being different is how you can appear to have glown up. So make choices that you, you know, your old self wouldn't necessarily have made before. So like maybe wear something a little bit different, but make sure it's still you. Try not wearing as much makeup or try wearing more makeup. Try, you know, if you usually wear your hair down, wear your hair up or vice versa. Um, um, but just like be aware of what that does to your body. So like for example, for me personally, this is like my style. I prefer to have my hair up. I feel like I look more sophisticated. I feel like I look more put together. But like lots of my friends are like, and my dad, so it was like, you look prettier with your 
your hair down. And I'm just like, yeah, but I feel more confident and beautiful and like I don't have to worry about fixing things all the time when my hair is up. Um, but do know that sometimes that you do look more closed off and not as playful and fun when you have your hair up. So you just want to know, like when I have it in a bun, I don't look as playful. When I have it in a ponytail or when I have it down, it's like, woo, it looks a lot, you know, more playful. But I would recommend during school to change your hairstyles. In my psychology studies, I've learned that when you cross your legs, oh, <laughs> When you cross your legs and when you cross your arms, you appear to be closed off and subconsciously we realize that and we judge people without even knowing why we think that they're closed off, but it's really because we're just closing ourselves off. But if you're able to sit open, if you're able to just let your arms sit on your lap, you appear to be much more open and friendly and happy. Also, you don't always have to be like a big smiling like goofball like I am. <laughs> and trust me, on the first day of school or the first week of school or even in the first month of school or maybe at the end of the school year, people are nervous. Everybody's going through the same thing. You're not alone with the way that you're going to feel when you're going to school. All right. We're on to the second slip now. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to be honest here. Just going to be vulnerable for a second. I deal with dandruff and I hate dandruff. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Um, I actually haven't tried like shampoos because I don't have money to spend to try and test and see if they work for dandruff. So I'm gonna give you a tip that helped me. I went on a whim, I decided to try it and it worked great. So what I did was is I grabbed like my coffee filter that had my coffee in it and I just put it in a bowl. I brought it in my shower with me. And let me just tell you, it does make a mess. So be willing to clean your shower if you wanna do this, but it works. So I mixed in the coffee grinds with my shampoo in my hand and I just threw it on my head and they just like washed my head. And so instead of like exfoliating your face, you know how people do that, or your body or your feet, I exfoliated my scalp. It worked wonders and let me tell you, I don't know the scientific research behind hair and caffeine and coffee grinds, but I do know that my hair personally was so soft, it felt healthy. I don't know, but I also shampooed twice because you have to shampoo a second time to make sure you get all the grounds out of your hair. Here is my last tip. Um, be organized and in your organization to help you with that, be minimal. So when I would have my school bag at school, you know, I would try to do everything. I would try to have all of my books, all of my notebooks from all the different classes, and then I realized this is stressful and it hurt my shoulders. So try to combine things. Try to have like one notebook for things and just do sections. Or try to leave your big books in the classroom, you know, try to take pictures of the chapters that you need to read so that you don't have to like carry it with you. Um, because not only do you look better walking around the halls and more put together, but also you will feel better. And that is important. All right, guys, I think that's gonna be all for my video today. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me. Thanks for sticking it out to the end with me. You're the real MVP. I gotta quickly stop talking so I can get editing on this video and get it up for you guys, right? Before school starts. <laughs> Don't forget that you are so loved and you can change the world. And if you wanna quickly go watch a video about how to know if he's the one and just like prepare yourself for going back to high school and boys and everything like that, I have a video up here. Actually, I think they come on the side. I never can remember. Everything's just always different when you're filming. <laughs> okay, bye guys.